Uh, hi guys, back again. Um, thought I might do a video on the um, 517 Master laminated uh, warded uh, padlock. Uh, this was previewed on bluegrass picking. I uh, had a question about what tension tools or uh, picks to use from memory. I think that's the question he asked. But I made a comment that um, you just need the warded um, bypass key really because the actuator is up top there. But uh, I was wrong on that uh, part. Um, obviously, must have changed their actuator. Uh, the actual actuator is probably five plates. So, one, three, around the five plates in is where the actuator is. Um, it only um, locks on one side, only retracts the actuator, only retracts the pole from one side, so um, it's only locking him on one side of the padlock. Um, this is serrated both sides, so you can either, it's either or either, doesn't matter which way you, you put it in. Um, yeah, um, that's the uh, boarded key for it. Uh, the, yeah, it's the um, slots are aligned with the um, warding plates in, inside the laminate uh, padlock. Um, so wherever the cut is, that's where you'll have a warding a plate to suit that cut. Um, this is, I had two of them now. Well, I've taken one apart just for the sake of time. Um, obviously it doesn't work because the warding is different. The warding cuts are different. As you can see, um, yeah, different positions. Um, there you go. See they're off different. Uh, but you can, yeah. You don't. This is a um, low on Fletcher. Uh, it's a projection lock, uh, flat key blank. I've just ground up to be about 40 seconds to make. As long as you've got a little T module module at the end, um, and it's not the key's not too short. You can quite easy just push it in there and uh, find where the actuator is you'll feel it um, once you find it um, it's just a matter of just turning the key or activating the um, actuator lock and pull uh, yeah so that would that would um, basically open all the series all the padlocks on the 517 series really because I've the, pull, the locking pull is in the same position on both of these locks. Um, so I'm assuming they're all the same position on all 517 series um, padlocks. It's just a matter of having different uh, warding plates in different positions to suit the key. So that basically, yeah, that's what you need. Those little Chinese warded uh, keys that some of you guys have, uh, yeah, if you have got a set of them, I'm pretty confident you could um, Use them to open all the padlocks. Yeah, that's, that's all you need, really, is that little little P, uh, T piece at the end of the key. As long as it's thin enough to go down the um, between the warding plates and the padlocks. Uh, yeah, just once you find it, and just a matter of manipulating it. So that basically, that's a, just a that's a bypass key, really, a master by uh, bypass key, basically. Yeah. So that's that one there. I'm not going to destroy this one obviously because I've already paid for two and I've destroyed one already for the sake of science. But um, yeah, they're not, well, they're not expensive but they're not cheap either. So, um, oh, before I look at that, this is for Gary Remain. He, this is the one I sort of picked and, oh, not picked. To say I picked it was it's not true. I was just manipulated it with a pig. It's only a two pinner. But he said, "Oh, he didn't show the he didn't show the key operating." So I've actually put it back together, um, as you can see. Just for Gary, there you go, Gary. Key does operate. Does lock up. Uh, so there you go. Uh, no, and uh, I'm not going to take it back to the shop, uh, Gary. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, they might be a bit suspicious when they see all the bash marks from a hammer and the hole in it. Yeah, but anyway, so that's that one. Yeah, obviously it's a shackle. Um, you can adjust, yeah, lock it at different positions, um, depending how much, what, 
how long a cavity you want in between the shackle. Um, that that's just that was just a little cover on the bottom there. Um, that's a little curtain. Um, that's the bottom plate. I'll take them off as we go. Um, that curtain just sits in there. And it's obviously held in position with the end cap uh, on the laminate. So just go through them. Uh, it's a standard uh, standard plate. Uh, nothing there. That's a warding plate. Uh, there to suit the uh, cutting the key. Again, um, just a standard generic uh, filler plate. Same with that one. And again, and again. Oh, it's just a pin for on that. Uh, another water plate. Now this is. I want to take those other two out. So that's the six uh, pins holding it to get the structure together. But the actuator is in in between three plates. Um, so I'll just leave them. Leave them there for now. Yeah, that's the actual the actuator. Um, what happens when they get the uh, the keys in the right position? Uh, you can turn it. And it's just a matter of. Uh, Retracting the um, the pawl against that spring pressure, and yeah, so they're pretty pretty rudimentary, but um, uh, yes, yeah, standard again, nothing. Uh, another warding plate, uh, another warding plate. Yeah, standard. That's the end piece, the end plate, or the second to end anyway. And that's just a locker locator that's for the tip of the key. Um, and that's the top plate. So yeah, basically that's it. And obviously the shackle goes through there. Um, um, so yeah, that's the 517 exploded. Um, yeah, so yeah, basically. You can make your own key up uh, pretty easily. Um, all you need is, a, as long as it's thin enough to get through the wardings and it's got the uh, T piece at the end wide enough to uh, retract the locking pole. Um, yeah, basically, you could, uh, well, in theory, unlock all the padlocks on the 517 series. Um, anyway, I'll. Uh, the pin on this video and um, much more I can do with this padlock it's pretty much taste now so but that um, yeah that's the 517 I'm pretty sure someone bluegrass was it had on his video um, he might have he might have had the bigger one I'm not sure it's, but this is it'll work on the same theory anyway just a warding uh, Warden plates in the you know, certain positions to suit the um, cutouts and the key blank. So yeah, that, you wouldn't go locking up the crown jewels with this thing, but yeah. it'd be good enough to keep the kids out, I suppose, uh, for a while until <laughs> they work it out. Anyway, till next time. Uh, that's it, and take care, and uh, bye.